Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to clean and greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try these products out for you and share my honest reviews so you have a better idea of what to buy. More importantly, what not to buy so you don't waste your money on things you're not gonna use. And today I'm back with round two of the products that I will not be buying again. You wanna find out what those are? Stick around. Let's get into it. Links to everything that I mentioned will be below. For some of these products, I have full scorecard reviews. Those are back on the site. I'm gonna link to them. For some of them, I might not, but I will have links to the actual products so you can check them out on other websites. But yes, this is gonna be more personal, so I might not like something. Doesn't mean you're not gonna like it either. And you really might love what I have on this list. And if you do, I would love for you to share your opinion in the comments below, let me know which product you actually totally disagree on, why you like it or think it's a great product for other people to check out. Because it's really just one opinion and I like to have other opinions over here. If you like these kind of roundups and you wanna keep seeing more of them, please take two seconds, hit the like button. Let's get started. First up, Bare Minerals, why not? It's been a while since I've reviewed it. A lot of people have checked and clicked on these Bare Minerals reviews. I don't buy a lot of Bare Minerals, but I wanted to do an update for their Mineral Veil because it was one of the products that initially I kinda liked a long time ago. Then I wasn't so crazy about and I thought, let's give it another chance because it seemed like there was a lot of interest in that video. Tried it again and I found it to be incredibly drying on my skin. It's because there's cornstarch as the first ingredient here. For some people that would be great. It might clean up the oiliness and really mattify for you. For my skin, it was like the kiss of death, not good. So yeah, this is gonna be, I really only have used it a couple of times. I'm using it for this video. I'll probably give this to a friend or my mom. If you do wanna see all of my current favorites, by the way, out of the hundreds of products that I've tried, there is a list, a short, semi-short list. I try and edit it down to my absolute current favorites that I would buy again and again and again. It changes monthly. It's back on Brit's Picks on the website. Check it out if you wanna just beeline it to that at any point in this video. It's also a really good starting point if you have no idea where to go for a category or all the products. Next up, Kosas. This is the Kosas bronzer. First of all, the container, oh man, Kosas really does go big with that plastic. Container broke real fast for me. The product itself got a film and caked over, so now I have to scrape it. it has a very weird scent. It's a very warm shade of bronzer. The shade really has the least amount of, to do with my not wanting to use it again because you know you can change your shade on a bronzer, usually if they have other options. It's those other reasons. That's why I don't like this. I have used this a lot as an eyeshadow. I feel like this is just gonna be go forward eyeshadow because I can't smell it. I can't smell my eyelid. Next up, there is definitely not a full review for this because I, I know because I haven't done it yet, but this is the Bite Refillable Deodorant. Now this isn't Bite Beauty, which is sadly going out of business. This is a different bite out there. I've been using their toothpaste tabs and I have gone to my dentist, my teeth are fine, so I've been okay. Consult an expert, consult a dentist. I got kind of suckered into looking at their refillable deodorant because I was on the site. They didn't even have to try too hard. And I was looking for a plastic-free deodorant because the one I really love, which is a brand called Kinko, it works incredibly well for me, but it's wrapped in plastic and has a roller ball and all the rest of it. So I was trying to find alternatives tried this out in the scent Neroli. I like it, I think it applies nicely. Obviously love that there's refills available. The thing is, it doesn't keep scent at bay. Like, I don't know, it just smells weird middle of the day when it mixes with natural body oil. You know what I mean? It's not a good BO situation. If I were anything white, it discolors it. That was a deal breaker. Now it's summer, it's crazy humidity where I live, so sweating is gonna happen. This just is not working for me. It's just not working for me. And sadly, I didn't realize that I signed up for a subscription, so they sent me another round of deodorant. So I guess I'll just figure it out, but there you go. The next, and this one kind of pains me because this was one of my absolute favorites. It's still kind of amazing. See, I, have, I get attached to things sometimes. It's the Maya Chia highlight of the day. I have this in happy hour. It's this pink, lavender, opalescent kind of, gotta really, this is why I don't um, shake it up thing. This is primarily because of the dropper and the emulsification of this product. If that were to change, I would buy a bucket of it probably. It gives 
this cool glow. If you have really pale skin, this is the opposite. You're gonna look like, you know, Twilight Edward with the glow. It's not gonna be a good look. Wow, bringing it back to Twilight, huh? This gives this beautiful prepped glow. It's in a beautiful oil. I love my Chia. They're not inexpensive, but it's a beautiful line and collection. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. It just separates. And the dropper, it just, like it is so hard to get product out of this dropper. I, it's just stuck in there, all this glorious product and separated on the bottom and it's just kind of a mess. So what I ended up doing was buy this little gadget. It's basically, you could use anything. I got a little stainless steel mixer that is made for cosmetics. And so I go in there and I mix it and I slap it on my hand and I prep. It's a lot, it's a lot, but I, I do love the way it looks. It's just, very difficult to use and for it to get stuck in there for that price, so frustrating. The next product, while I didn't dislike it tremendously, I just was not wowed by it. It is the Jones Road Mascara. And Jones Road, congratulations to them. I actually really did like their WTF with the foundation. That was one of the first products I really liked. I like their eyeliner. I have a whole Jones Road video if you wanna check it out. This mascara, Bobbi Brown was on TikTok or something and they have blown up on TikTok. It is like virality central. So congrats to them for that. I think that's amazing. Yeah, it doesn't change my mind on this. It was so funny. She came on there and she's like, you guys, we have 10,000 people on this wait list. And I'm happy to tell you, it's back. Like. You gotta love, you just gotta love the marketing. Props to her for that level of marketing because it's good. You, I liked the volume here, full review back on the site. The thing that happened for me was by the end of the day, there was some sort of drying that took effect. This has happened in other mascaras that I've tried and I really don't like this. Lashes by the end of the day looked more like little sticks. It just dried. Use it with a primer and you could be set. It could be worth your while. Black plastic, not a fan. Let's get a refill option going here. Specifically with black plastic, it's really hard to recycle. That was the reason why. I wasn't disliking it, like I mentioned. It just was not my holy grail. Oh my God, it's the greatest mascara I've ever tried. Westman Atelier's foundation. Also, not inexpensive. Westman Atelier is very, very high at price points. I'm not gonna harp on that. It is what it is. I don't think I've tried something from Westman Atelier that has justified the price point for me. The lip suede is getting there. It's slowly getting there, but usability wise, kind of a hot mess. This stick foundation, I do not think is worth it. I just don't personally feel like it's worth it. I didn't see the finish that I liked. I saw some coverage, but it was really primarily finish and a couple of other things that I mentioned in the scorecard post. Mainly it was that finish, it did not look right. Skin did not look like skin. And that's a personal deal. You gotta look at your prep, you gotta look at how you applied it. You'll see in the scorecard post, I tried so many different ways. I'd have to use a primer for sure. I don't like using a primer on my skin before I apply anything, simply because I'm lazy with makeup application. So that's why I'm not gonna buy it again. Two more, the next one is from a brand I really love. It's Han, this is their concealer. I think they've actually revised the packaging for this since this moment. A lot of people love the concealer. It's been on my favorites list before. I really like it. I've just now tried so many concealers that this sort of got nudged off, mainly because it doesn't look great after an hour or so. I don't even know why it does that. It's the finish of it changes for me. It almost looks a little chalky on my skin. The opacity is very strong, kind of reminds me a little bit of the Fit Glow Concealer, how that looks on my skin. It looks like I'm wearing makeup and my preference, personal preference, is to have a face of makeup where I don't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. You know what I mean? I think it would be beautiful on people who have oilier skin. It does work on other areas of the face, but for some reason it just gave this weird payoff on my skin that I just wasn't really loving. I have another Jones Road for you. It's the Miracle Balm. Again, blowing up, people are loving it. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I can't get into this. I'm still using it because like, hello, so much in here, which is generous and great. And if I loved it, that would be great. But there's too much plastic. Granted, the brand has come out with some glass containers, which I fully appreciate. This just looks and feels weird. It doesn't, I can feel it on my face all day. I don't like it. I don't feel like it's a miracle. I don't feel like it gives me a glow that I really want to see. I just look too oily and I feel oily. I know, God forbid I'm outside and a wind blows, everything will stick to my face. Finally, this was also a previous favorite and it would still be a favorite if they lasted longer. It's the RMS lipsticks. 
Rebound lipsticks, I believe is what they're called. I had it in Jezebel. Maybe I had it in the color Rebound. I ordered Jezebel like three times from different places. And every time I got it within weeks, it started smelling completely rancid and I returned so, it. The last time I did it, I was like, forget it, just credit my account. I can't handle this anymore. I'm sending it back and forth. So I love this lipstick, but for some reason, their batches were not in a good place. In a weird way, this is probably something I might want to take another look at. I mean, it's masochistic really at this point. Maybe I'll just talk to the brand about it. I, I, want, I want them to work and not go bad really fast because when they go bad, oh, it smells like wet cardboard mixed with Play-Doh. You know what I mean? And it got there so fast and they're not inexpensive. So for strong pigment and lipsticks that have stuck around for a long time for me, the 100% pure lipsticks have been amazing and the red apple lipsticks have been amazing. Love those two options. Okay, I'm finished with round two of the products that I will not be buying again. Round three is coming soon. Again, let me know out of these products, are these ones that you do love and you would buy again and you have bought over and over? I'd love to know your opinion. I keep saying it because it's true. Put it in the comments below and let me know why you would keep buying it. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, new videos come on every week. I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye.